Walk down the hallways of any high school and you'll hear students complaining about fatigue. We all know that many teens don't get enough sleep, but no research has looked into whether merely thinking and hearing about being tired, what I call fatigue salience, affects how teenagers perform on academic tasks. So that led to my question. Does increasing the salience of fatigue, or conversely, the salience of energy, affect persistence and performance in teenagers? Using a suite of online research tools, I conducted two studies involving nine high schools. The first study tested whether subtle reminders of fatigue or energy affected persistence and performance. Participants unscrambled sentences about fatigue or energy. Then they completed an anagram task. I measured the amount of time participants spent and number of words they formed on this task. The second study tested whether stronger reminders of fatigue or energy, in this case, reading a passage about the topic, affected the time participants spent and the number of words they formed on the same anagram task. The results were really intriguing. Increasing the salience of fatigue, whether using a weak prime or a strong prime, had no statistically significant effect on persistence or performance. But increasing the salience of energy using strong primes significantly boosted participants' performance. These results suggest that teachers, coaches, and counselors might elevate performance if they increase the salience of energy by talking about vitality and introducing cues for vigor and alertness. I have two hopes for this project. First, all high schools teach biology, chemistry, and physics. I hope this project will encourage schools to take rigorous experimental behavioral science just as seriously. Second, I hope this project will inspire other teenagers to use the tools of math, statistics, and data analytics to understand themselves and improve their lives.